everybody and welcome to the flute practice. Today we are going to look at what you can do when you get those braces on and you still want to carry on playing your flute. I know this is a scary time but we're going to check it out and see what can be done. <laughs> start off by saying or maybe encouraging you not to completely lose hope early on. In the beginning everything is going to be very sore, very tender, it's going to be very unpleasant to even try and play. Don't even try and play until it really has settled down and calmed down. When it has settled down you're going to try and play and probably you're going to find that either you can't play at all, this has happened to some people, or that your sound is really just horrible and nothing like it used to be. I think the important thing is to calm, stay calm and not panic because it's really a process of refinding, rediscovering your sound, adjusting the whole embouchure, adjusting everything and once you find it you will have a very nice sound again, you will rediscover your sound, it's going to feel a little bit different but what is really cool about this is you learn a level of kind of like flexibility and embouchure flexibility because you're learning to adjust. And when you take those braces off again, I'm sorry to say it, but you're going to have to readjust again. But there are two really important things to this. Number one, there are people that maintain having straighter teeth actually helps with your sound. So it's possible that your sound in the long term is going to improve. And number two, because you've learned to adjust the whole time, you are actually developing a lot of embouchure flexibility, I think, which is really great. And these are skills that are going to help you in your playing, you know, generally. So don't despair quite yet. But let's look at some really practical things that you can do. It's important to realize that when you have those braces in, everything is going to be a little bit more forward than you used to because you've got kind of like an extra layer over your teeth that's pushing everything forward. What this means is that you need to think with your embouchure more forward. This is another little place where I'm going to encourage you. I have some students that have had very tight embouchures and because the braces are forced, they're embouchure to be more forward, they've actually managed to develop a much more healthy, relaxed, released embouchure and their sound has actually improved. So there are weird like beneficial spin-offs sometimes to having these things, so it's not all doom and gloom, I promise. What you might want to just really think about doing is especially in the front here, you want to just think about bringing this part and this part more over forward over the braces and really feel this control here informing the sound and forming the embouchure. I find if you try to get too tense here and try and control here too much, you kind of just get in the way of the braces, um, especially so when you have braces more so than other times. The other thing that can happen is that your embouchure hole or your aperture kind of falls in a slightly different place than it did before your braces. Uh, I had a student that started off, it sort of went off to the side a little bit, we had to adjust and as it went along it actually found its way back to the middle. This can happen. What this requires really is just to check in the whole time where your aperture is forming and adjust accordingly. It's really kind of almost a cool time to really just always be checking in with your sound, checking in with what you're doing and really figuring out what is working and what isn't working. I think one of the most helpful kind of tools we have against the kind of disappointment and despair of braces and this adjusting process is to really focus our energies not so much on our embouchure but much more on our breathing and our support. I have found that it is a really great time to check in with those things, check in with your breathing, check in with your support and to really discover how much of your sound you can actually improve by just really fixing those things. I think you know when there's so much going on in our face and you know when you get your braces on and whatnot you kind of tend to overthink, you kind of tend to over focus on that area and this can become quite um, quite depressing I think actually and sometimes quite counterproductive because we start to kind of overstress and hone in too much on the little details. So I think just going down to that support and really having a clear kind of imagination of the sound that you want. You know what you sounded like before your braces and to really try and recreate that sound in your mind it's amazing how your body will find and respond and work its way back. I want to encourage all of you to just experiment in this time. Take that little step back and allow yourself to just explore and really experiment with your tone. There are lots of possibilities in this. I know it feels probably like this very kind of huge tragedy and, and I've had students that really have been quite perturbed and upset by this. 
but all of them and I really promise all of them have come out and learned more from the experience than they would have if they had not had the experience and they're quite grateful for it so really I want to just once again encourage you encourage you encourage you it's not the end of the world and you are going to come out of this actually a stronger player there are some other interesting little tips uh, that you can use there are people that maintain if you put like a bit of like plaster or paper on the lip plate it helps there are people that also recommend using wax for the actual braces if they're cutting the inside of your mouth while you're playing this is of course very very useful um, you, you kind of just want to check in and and see what problems you're coming up against if you have any questions or any concerns please put them down in the comment section I will say as a little disclaimer I have never had braces myself but I've taught quite a few students with braces so I've used, kind of developed my strategies from that. So maybe there are some of you that have had braces and that have got some interesting and useful insights for this community. I think that would be really awesome and really wonderful. I really just encourage us all to share ideas, to comment and to kind of be active in helping each other. Until then, everybody, happy practicing and see you next time.